face in the mirror So many people standing there I walk towards them Into the floodlights I heard no echo There was distortion everywhere I found my ego I felt the bottle standing there Found my transcendence They played a mono painted blue I'm a shadow light in your eyes You probably shine it back on me But I won't fall this time With God's speed, I'll hear the signs Again, folks, this is Wayne All back with another lesson and an amazing song as always today. We're looking at the first single off Blur's new album, The Narcissist. Um, I've looked at a few different versions of this, sort of worked out my own arrangement, which I think works, you know, pretty good acoustically. It's not that difficult to play, there's no bar chords in it, so I think a lot of sort of, you know, advanced beginners could take this one on. Uh, like I say, great song. Uh, not sort of, it didn't hit me immediately, this song. It's what I call a bit of a grower after a few lessons you know started to really get into this song so I want you to do a tutorial for this one uh, as I do for a lot of Blur stuff so if you are a Blur fan I've done a lot of the obvious ones if you want to go and check those out um, but I thought this arrangement you know a lot of sort of advanced beginners could play this as well so I'm going to play you the riff a few things that you can do with it getting sounding really cool now if you do want the chords lyrics and the strumming pattern to this as always I'm going to post it up on my Patreon page so there'll be a link to that in the comments I'll also put a link in the description and the way that that works for as little as a couple of quid a month for however much you guys want to pledge it's all very much appreciated and it you know generally goes back in to the lessons um, but it gives you guys access to pretty much everything I've done over the past coming up to two years now so there's a lot of stuff up there there's not just chords, lyrics and strumming patterns, there's stuff to coincide with the technique lessons so if you're into the scales and the blues stuff that I've done in the past there's also some exclusive videos on, on YouTube, there's a lot of videos from the archive so what you're waiting for, link in the comments, link in the description if you don't want to do that I've got a new feature which is like a super thanks link that's just under the video there you can click on that, make a small donation, show some appreciation again very much appreciated uh, thanks for your continued support thanks everyone who's subscribed and continues to do so now if you are subscribing you haven't done already a further way you could help me out is hitting that little notification bell that's somewhere down there and if you want to please go over and give me a like on social media so i'm wayne Arguitar on facebook twitter instagram and now also tiktok as i always say i'm trying to get down with the kids anyway that's enough of me rambling without further ado let's get to it Okay, so the song is in standard tuning, but as you can see, for this version, you're going to want the capo up on the 4th fret, okay? Just while we're talking about capos, I'd like to give the G7 Capo Company a quick plug. I've had this uh, capo coming up to two years now. don't know if you can see that. I've got my name sort of inscripted on the top, so it's sort of a personalised one. But these are great capos. I've got another one that I use a lot in my band. I've had that for the best part of 15 years, and it's never let me down. They've got a great grip. This is a performance free model if you want to look at this one, but I'm going to put a link to that in the description below. So if you're on the market for a capo, go and check these out, a G7 capo. Okay, so uh, there's not a lot to this song, you know, um, but I think this version, my sort of interpretation works quite well, okay, if you want to play it acoustically. So uh, if you want to do the intro, that's just basically outlining a C chord. We're going to play the first fret on the B string relative to the capo and sort of the top E string, sort of alternating between the two strings. So what we get is a... Okay, and then we're going to play an open B with the top E string. Okay, so I do that round sort of twice for the intro. And then the chords for the verse are going to be a C chord. Okay, and then the next chord, I'm not sure what this is called, but I'm going to call it an A7 sus2, okay? It's just a one-fingered chord, so all we're doing, we're keeping that from the C 
that second finger on the second fret on the D string relative to the capo. Okay, so what we get is a C, A7 sus2. Okay, and then the next chord, I'm going to do an F major 7, so I'm using the four fingered F major 7. If you've never seen me do that before, just take a regular F major 7 chord, and we're going to move the third finger to the third fret and the A string relative to the capo. Little pinky will go third fret on the D string. Okay, so it's like an F major 7 with a C bass in. And on that, I'm going to take the first finger off, so what we get is a. Okay, so I'll just put that together, we've got the intro, I'm going to sing that verse through and then I'll explain what you know goes on in the chorus. So we've got the opening bit. Okay, then we start strumming the C chord. Looked in the mirror, so many people standing there, I walked towards them. Advice. I heard no echo There was distortion everywhere I found my ego I felt the bottle stand Okay, so I think it's quite cool in the chorus to sort of beef the chords up a little bit. It's more or less the same chords, but if we take a C, we're going to add a G bass in. So a little bit like we did with the F chord, uh, we're just going to take the C chord, move the third finger to the third fret on the low E string, relative to the capo. Little pinky will go third fret on the A, okay? And then it's nice to change into an A minor 7 and then into the uh, A7 sus2 chord straight after, okay? Now the second time round we do um, obviously the C chord again with the G bass in and we're just going to go to the A7 sus2 chord and then a quick change into the F chord, okay? So I'm just going to sing that chorus through so you can see how that gels together. So we've got the starting with the C with the G bass in. I'm a shadow light and you're right. Okay, if you want to put that little melody in there, all I'm doing there is uh, strumming the C chord. Little pinky goes on the third fret on the B string, and we play an open top E string, and then take the first finger off and do what we call the C major seven. So we got. Okay, and then that takes us into the next verse and the next chorus. So pretty much everything repeats there. Okay. It's nice to do single strums when we get into verse 3, so what we just get is a Oh glorious world Oh potent waves and valleys come Okay, you get the idea, so we're just going to do single strums there uh, and then it obviously picks up in the chorus again. Okay, so the only difference in the last chorus, we're just going to, you know, stay on that F chord a little bit longer at the end, so we, you know, the line that goes But I won't fall this time to God's speed the signs but it won't fall this time God's speed I need the signs stays on the F there let me finish on the C okay so that's pretty much the meat and potatoes of the song like I say it's a real grow of this song and it's not that difficult to play if you play this arrangement so that just leaves us with a strumming pattern. So most of the way through, I keep things fairly basic. I just do down, down, up, down, up, down. So if you hear that. And that's pretty much all you're going to
going to need. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Hope you all dug my version. Uh, and I think that's, you know, a real grower, that song. And if you haven't heard the new album yet, The Ballad of Darren, it's actually a great album as well. You know, it's one of those, you have to listen to it a few times, you know, it's a bit of a grower. But they're usually the best albums, so there we go. Like I say, if you haven't got that album, go and check it out. If you've got any other requests for any other Blur songs, I've done a lot of the obvious ones, like Port Life and uh, Girls and Boys, if you want to go and check those out. My personal favourite, Out of Time. If you want to go and check that one out as well but if you've got any requests for any you know blur songs that i haven't done or it doesn't have to be blur it can be anything 50s to modern day it's going to work well on an acoustic or an electric guitar within reason so the easiest way to put your request in is obviously comment below the video or if you want to find me a personal message over through those social media platforms i suggested at the start of the video you're very welcome to i just always point out that i do get quite a lot and i do have to sort of hemp it them a little bit but don't let that put you off, please do keep your requests coming because that's what keeps this channel going and it's very much appreciated. Another thing that's very much appreciated, I'll quickly mention it again, thanks everyone who's subscribed, uh, again, really appreciated, you know, I'm glad that you like my content. Now if you haven't done already, if you are subscribed, please hit that little notification bell down there so you get notified every time I post a video up and you can keep up to date. Um, another way that you could help me out is obviously the patron thing, sorry to keep banging on about it, if you want the chords, lyrics and the strumming patterns and not only this song, pretty much everything I've done over the past two years of sort of exclusive content on there, so there's a link to that in the description, also a link in the comments, there's the uh, super thanks link that's just under the video there, you can click on that and make, you know, a small donation, that's very much appreciated again. And I always say word of mouth is a powerful thing, so if you dig what I do, please like and share my videos, tell your friends, tell your work colleagues, anyone you know plays a guitar, please point them in my direction. So that just leads me to say whatever time of day it is you're watching, whether morning, day, night, thank you very much, and I'll catch you all for last and soon. Take care.